Well, good evening and uh, welcome to my home on this Thursday. Uh, it's a pleasure to, to join with you here online as we continue in the midst of this COVID uh, crisis. We know that uh, things are starting to open up a little bit, but we still are practicing our, our sense of social distancing, physical distancing, um, but still being connected in, in some ways. Our service this evening is a service of evening prayer, and it's from a We Worship book, and it's published by Wild Goose Worship Group. So I invite you to join with me and give thanks for this day and the gift that it was for us. My reading will be a reading from Acts um, in reference to Pentecost. Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come Lord, come. Breath of God, breath of life, breath of deepest yearning, come Holy Spirit. Comforter, disturber, interpreter, enthuser, come Holy Spirit. Heavenly friend, lamp lighter, revealer of truth, midwife of change, come Holy Spirit. The Lord is here. God's spirit is with us. Let us pray. Lord, teach us the silence of humility, the silence of wisdom, the, the silence of love, the silence that speaks without words and the silence of faith. Lord, teach us to silence our own hearts and our own minds, that we may listen for the movement of your Holy Spirit and feel your presence in the depths of our own being. Now a word from scripture. This is God's word and it can be trusted. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, peered unto them and rested upon each of them and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout, out of every nation under heaven. Now when this sound was heard, the multitude came together and were bewildered, because that everyone heard them speak in their own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying to one another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we everyone in our own tongue wherein we were born, Corinthians and Medes, and Elamites, and the dwellers of Mesopotamia and in Judea, and Cappadocia and Pontus, in Asia and Phrygia and Pamphylia and in Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene and the strangers from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. This is God's word and it can be trusted. Today at this time, as we give thanks for the day that has gone before us, we give thanks to God for all of our blessings, the things that we have accomplished. We recognize that there may be things done and things left undone. We pray for 
for our world that is hurting, for an end to the pandemic, for a vaccine, for pre peace, prosperity, for an end to racism, violence, sexual abuse, Pray that we may be united as one people. Let us keep silence before God and through our minds and imaginations offer prayers which words might not contain. Let us pray. There is a time for every purpose under heaven. A time for gratitude. Listen, Lord. Listen, Lord, not to our words, but to our prayer. You alone, you alone understand and care. A time for what we have to lay down. a time for what we have to pick up. A time for confronting what we are avoiding. A time for recognizing what we hope for. In our time and in your time, God, fulfill our prayers and let your kingdom come. Amen. My dear friends, now may the Spirit of God, who brooded over the waters and brought order out of chaos, find a home in our hearts and settle our minds this evening as we sleep, and that tomorrow we may wake and live to God's glory. Amen.